Why don't you give love on Christmas Day? Oh, even the man who has everything would be so happy if you would bring him love on Christmas Day. No greater gift is there than love. Hello everyone. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas. Today is Friday. Yay! December 2nd, the second day of Vlogmas. I am so happy that I got my video to upload. This morning I stayed up until 3 o'clock in the morning for you guys because it's always the first video that when you start things again that you have to like work out all the kinks and whatever but i got everything to flow i created a template i created my cover um photograph i got music in there so i am super super happy so now it's all about creating content and finding beautiful things to show you guys um as far as knitting is concerned so um let me tell you about my day <sighs> i have a lot jam-packed in the day today i want to go to knit night tonight that is like i haven't been in knit night in so long since before ryan Beck. so i really want to go i want to be around my friends um i want to connect with my community um but one of my clients wants to order some shoe puffs um for those who don't know what shoe is it's a pastry it's a french pastry and you have to kind of cook the flour into the water and butter let it cool and then you add the eggs and then you bake it and it puffs up and like there's a lot of air in the middle and you could like stuff things in it and um in trinidad we make them all the time we just call them puffs because it's just what we call them and um they're usually very savory and we stuff them with a cheese paste that we make also we would stuff them with tuna or chicken salad so this um, client of mine wants a dozen cheese and a dozen tuna, and that means I'm gonna have more left over for me, which is awesome because I got snacks, which is cool. Um, if I have enough, I'll take to knit night, but if it's not enough to share, then I'll just keep it home for myself and just munch on them during the day or whatever. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll see how much um, the recipe yields because um, depending on how I pipe them out, they could be small, they could be big. It all depends. So um, hopefully I can get them all done before it's time to go to knit night. So it is still before lunch right now. I um, plan to make them on my lunch break, but I forgot to buy one of the ingredients for the filling. So I'm gonna have to run to the grocery and grab it. And it's just so annoying, but hey, what can you do? <sighs> so yeah, that's the plan for today. I also was trying to follow up on my advents and I checked my Bon Mamam advent calendar. Uh, where is it? You know, <laughs> so UPS has it in Brooklyn. And guess what? I can walk to the UPS facility, but is that going to get to my house any faster? No, because it has to go through all the channels to get on the truck, to get over here. Like, <sighs> are you serious? Like, I mean, I could walk. It is, it would be about a 20 minute walk, but I could drive there in like five minutes, but they won't let me get it because it's not at the point where it's at pickup stage yet. So kind of annoyed, but anyway, um, they said it'll be here tomorrow. Hopefully they move pretty quickly and it will be here before tomorrow. That would be awesome. Uh, so we'll see. I'm waiting, 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 and I'm still waiting for my Knit in the City advent calendar. I'm waiting to hear what UPS says. I feel like the thing just wasn't updated because sometimes they do that. They'll have it and then they won't update you and you're sitting there thinking that you're not getting it and then surprise, surprise, you get it. So I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful. Uh, I checked on my uh, Save the Sheep advent. It is still listed as being in Spain. It it's, doesn't say that it's on a plane yet, but again, it could just be a delay in the notification. So I'm just waiting with bated breath. Um, I'm contemplating doing another advent, but I'm I'm really thinking about it. I have to go through my stash. There's a sock mystery knit along that is full of lace and cables, and it looks very intriguing. It's by Sari Norland, um, and I saw like the first clue, and I'm kind of intrigued, but 
I'm like, do I even go down that rabbit hole? I don't know. What do you think? Should I cast on another sock? If I do, I can buy needles tonight. So we'll see. Um, what I will do is, before I go to Knit Night, I will go through my stash and see if there's something that screams at me. And if there is, then it's all a go. So we will see. Crossing fingers. We'll figure it out. Um, so let me get back to my day-to-day -day work because I'm still working from home. I'm also simultaneously watching Portugal play Korea. Right now the score is tied and I don't know what's going to happen. And um, this is very exciting. It's a very exciting game. So um, I also, um, I still don't understand offsides. So if anybody in the football slash soccer community can explain it to me, any soccer moms out there, do you know what's going on? Any soccer dads out there? Somebody. I still don't understand offsides. So like, but um, I'm kind of glad that there was one because it just prevented a goal. So I'm kind of glad. But anyway, um, I'm going to get back and keep you posted on what's going on when I start making my puffs. I'll take you on that journey with me because Mika Mika Bakes wants to share some information. And um, yeah, we're going to we're going to do this. All right. See you guys soon in the kitchen. Breakfast of champions. Yeah, I got a lot. I'm not going to eat it all right now, but this will be eaten. And I'm going to share. This is not all for me, I promise. Gotta have the coffee. Muy importante. So the first step in making shoe pastry is that you melt the butter into water. You want to have equal parts water and flour that we have here. And in the flour, I have some salt and sugar, equal parts of salt and sugar, so that uh, the, with the right combination, the right ratios, you will get beautiful pastry. So I'm just gonna wait until all this butter melts. You don't want the water to evaporate, so you don't wanna have it on high. Um, I'm just giving you a little insight as to how I make my puffs. Um, this is a recipe that I have perfected over the pandemic and it's really delicious. So I love making them. It's a little bit of work. So what I'm doing right now is I am prepping the dough before um, because it has to cool. So while it's cooling, I will go to the grocery to get the remainder of the items, come back, add in the eggs, plop it in the oven, and then I will stuff them later. So I'm just literally waiting for this to melt. Okay, so as you see, the steam is starting to form. We don't want that. So we're gonna turn this off and all of the butter has melted and now we're going to throw in the flour and start mixing very vigorously because we wanna make a homogenous mixture. Oops, a little scary, but it's okay. We're fine. And we just try to mix this into a good mixture. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I will keep mixing and show you what it all turns into in a moment. You're supposed to cook this for about two to three minutes. And let's keep mixing. So as you can see here, the dough has come together. The main thing you want to do is eliminate any dry pockets of flour because that's just not going to give you a good smooth dough. But this looks about good. It's come together nicely. And we just have to basically take this off the fire now and leave it to cool. And once it gets cool, we add the eggs and then we can go to the next step. So I'm happy with my shoe pastry flour so far. Shoe pastry dough, I should say. <laughs> okay, so it is lunchtime now and I am running out to BJ's because I have to get some ingredients for the fillings of my puffs and we need bread. Like, I want a sandwich. I don't know why I want a sandwich, but I just want a sandwich. Um, I don't really feel like cooking anything for lunch. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. It is about 2 p.m. on the dot, actually. And hopefully it's not gonna be crowded. It usually isn't at this time, but you never know. 
but um i'll probably just go into the express line so hopefully i'm in and out of there in two shakes and then i can come back home and relax a little bit and get the puffs in the oven that's the most important thing and yeah in about three to four hours i'll be heading to knit night hopefully crossing fingers yeah okay let's go to bj's now let's not waste enough time let's not waste any more time Okay, so on my way back from BJ's, my client texts me and asks if it's okay if she comes and picks up the puffs in the morning. So um, they're halfway done right now. I just have to put the eggs in. So my plan is <laughs> to put the eggs in, mix it, put it in the oven after I log off of work and let that cook and go to knit night once they come out of the oven and then i let them cool put them in the fridge because you can store them overnight in the fridge and then in the morning i will stuff them with the filling so i'm so sorry you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to see the finished product you can blame my client for that <laughs> but it's okay because the good thing is i get to go to knit night tonight and i don't have to like rush before i go and I'm a little bit more calm and everything's going to be fun and cool. And I think what I'm going to do now is try to see if there's a skinny yarn that I want to use for this extra make along MCAL mystery knit along thing. Um, I don't know. I'm just tempted. I'm just tempted. I don't know. Um, and I'm going in at night. So I will be getting a new needle to use because all the other sock needles are on socks. And I know it sounds crazy, but you know, that's my life. So it is what it is. I'm used to it now. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, yeah, let me get back to you pretty soon, okay? Okay, so this is what the dough looks like after it's been cooled. I'm going to add the eggs now one by one. I have already uh, deshelled the eggs. So I'm just gonna pour them in one by one and we're gonna get a nice homogenous mixture. I'm gonna show you what's going on next before we pipe out the puffs. nice and shiny and we want a nice shiny batter so that we can get some really nice puffs and get a nice rise out of them it means that there's the right amount of moisture in here that's going to turn into steam inside of the puff when it's in the oven to make it puff up even more and I am so excited I'm gonna pipe these out now and show you what I do Okay, so I placed all of the, well, half, I would say, of the batter into the piping bag. And now I'm going to pipe a circle. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a little bit crazy. But that's kind of what we're going for. So I'm going to do like the whole row of them right now. So this one is a little bit more of what it's supposed to look like um, as opposed to this one. This is a little too wide, but it's just one of those things that when you practice, you learn how to like your hand just like gets used to the motion of doing it. And then you just you just become accustomed to it. It's kind of like muscle memory, but there's no like really wrong way to do it. But this is the way that I like to do it because um, it just creates a taller uh, puff as opposed to this one which will probably spread out a little wide but it's still gonna taste good I'm gonna eat it anyway haha <laughs> so as you can see here I have a small army of puffs this is about a dozen 
and I'm just gonna keep going until I continue um, to fill up the rest of the sheet pan. I should get about two dozen per pan, which is exactly how much my client wants, and anything left over will be for moi. I cannot wait. This is gonna be so delicious. So now the puffs are going in the oven and in about 40 minutes, we will see how beautiful they become. Uh, this little guy over here, he, um, he didn't do so well, but everybody else is okay. So uh, yeah, I will still have him with some cheese though, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna close this oven now and uh, get to the baking. Let's see what they look like. Oh, look at that. Look at how they puffed up. It's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna take them out now and give them a good inspection. So the puffs look just right. They're not undercooked, they're not overcooked. They're slightly brown on the top. That's how we like it. And best part, they didn't burn. So the secret is you put them at one temperature to start and then you finish off at a different temperature so they don't burn at the bottom. Look at that. It's not burnt. It's brown, but not burnt. And that's how we like it. And when you hear that noise, you know that they are hollow on the inside. So that means you have plenty of space to put your fillings. So I'm gonna let these cool and I will make the stuffing tomorrow. Sorry you have to wait, but um, at least you see part one. <laughs> hey guys, so the puffs are puffed, but they're not stuffed. <laughs> um, but it's all good. Uh, we'll stuff them tomorrow morning. I am about to go to knit night right now I'm in the car, warming up. And um, I decided not to start a new sock at knit night because the pattern has a lot of cables and lace and I don't want to mess it up. But I am looking towards um, trying to figure that out when I get back home. I am just looking to see if there's a car. Oh, okay. I was looking to see if the car wanted my spot, but no, they're parking someone else, somewhere else. Um, Yeah, so when I get home, I will think about that and figure out what yarn and we'll go on yarn hunting in my stash. That'll be fun. Um, I will buy a needle because I need one. And what else? Um, eh, I'm trying to think. What, what did I think of? Okay, so I plan on knitting my love note sweater yes the love note sweater and i had realized why i had stopped where i had stopped i had just literally like the last time i picked it up joined the second skein to the body but i think what i should do is i should rip it out until i get to where i joined the second skein put it on pause knit the sleeves first and then just finish out the body with what's remaining in the yarn because it was kind of a question as to am I going to have enough yarn so um I think I'll do that instead so I will be knitting sleeves today so that's fine um so that's what I'm going to work out when I get to knit, knit night hopefully if I don't get too distracted so uh see you guys there I'll show you what string thing looks like it's been you know there's new yarn there everything's been moved around it looks pretty cool and um You'll get to see one of my favorite knitting stores in New York City, if not the favorite knitting store in New York City. Mm. Well, at least in Brooklyn, at least. Well, I don't know. Mm. I have many favorites, but uh, String Thing is my home. So I will head there right now. See you soon.
okay so i made it home from knit night and i got the one thing that i went to strengthening for which is my needles to cast on the lucia sock mcal i look very tired i know <laughs> i decided that i don't want to get up too early tomorrow to actually um stuff the puffs so i'm gonna stay up a little late tonight and stuff the puffs so that um they will be just ready to go in the morning and i'll eat the extras when i watch the football game um aka soccer whatever i don't know what you want to call it um i mostly call it football um <laughs> but uh i want to watch uh the usa play the netherlands and see what happens and i want to be fully invested and i don't want to have to be trying to hurry and uh deal with cooking for a client when um I'm trying to watch the game so i am going to be uh staying up a little later tonight and making the stuff the stuff to stuff the puffs so literally making tuna salad tuna salad and the cheese paste um but before i do that i want to try to find some yarn to knit this sock and i have this great idea that maybe i'll cast it on tonight who knows um we'll see <laughs> um but yeah, I keep saying, I'm um, sorry. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get to the finding of the yarn and then we will make the stuff to stuff the puffs and that will be that. And I can get to opening these advents. That's what you want to see, isn't it? So maybe I can open the advents now. Yeah. Okay. Get that out of the way. So yeah, let's do that. So here is day number two of the Republic of Tea Advents. Busting this one open. And we have Organic Mint Fields. Perfect because my stomach is hurting me and mint is supposed to be very helpful. And I'm still getting over a little stomach trouble. So yeah, this is, this is going to be good. Spearmint, peppermint, and lemon balm. Perfect. I'll throw some honey in there. And this is going to be my mint tea for the night very good i'll have this after i finish stuffing the puffs so yay and we have day number two of in december we wear pink let's crack it open and see what we have here i can't do this with one hand so but maybe i can um sorry for the crackling noises let's, let's just open this without you know making you go crazy Okay, so we got it open and it is, it looks almost like the pink from yesterday, but let's see, put it against a dark background, maybe we'll get something else. There is a subtle variegatedness in this yarn, but um, all in all, it's still blush pink. So I'm thinking maybe this might be a gradient that we're doing. I don't know, let's see. We'll wait and see. Okay, so in December we wear pink, this is the color. Yes. So this is my stash of sock yarn. It is placed in a chest of drawer. This is my um, sock yarn that is not self-striping. And I have a ton of stuff in here. I kind of color coordinated it a bit and all the pinks are in here. So I need to find yarn that is variegated or semi, not, sorry, not variegated. That is like semi, uh, you know, what am I trying to say? Not variegated yarn because it's going to be a lace pattern. So I'm trying to find something that is going to hold the lace pattern very well. And... Hmm. This looks like it could be a winner. There are some speckles, but it's not too much. This is also a good winner. This might actually take the cake right here. I think I want to go with this one. Um, I don't know. There's so many choices, but um, I love a pink sock. You guys know that. This one might be it because it's so tightly spun that it'll like the cable should really pop on it. Okay, this is a possible. Let's see what else we have. 
light yarns with speckles. Um, gosh, there's just so many things. Um, slight variegation. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what do I, where do I start? I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know where to start. But yeah, so this is what I'm dealing with. I think I'm gonna go with that pink actually, because if I go here now, um, this would be, this would make a nice color. But I'm not sure if I really want, I think I definitely would rather the pink. I mean, come on. Come on, in December we wear pink, right? So we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do this. This is Marigold Gen. Uh, this is from so long ago called Burning Love. And this is the colorway we're going to do our socks with. It's called the Lucia sock, and it's gonna have some funky cables and lace, and it's gonna be interesting. And I'm gonna make it funky with this hot pink colorway. Yes. Okay, so everything I just said about making the finishing up the puffs tonight, scratch that. I'm tired. So um, you have to listen to your body when it tells you don't do anymore. <laughs> I already steeped my tea. I'm going to drink that, continue to knit for a little bit, and then I'm going to call it a night. Um, before I do that, I will show you what I did at knit night, and I will show you the advent for um, the Cozy Knitter Sock. Um, I didn't finish it, but you can see the color anyway. And then I will just chill out, do a little Duolingo before I go to bed so I don't lose my streak. And then um, I will continue with the puffs in the morning. So you'll see that. And video editing will have to happen tomorrow because I'm tired, <laughs> but it's okay. So this is my Love Note sweater. And where I was before was here in the body. And I was going to, what I did, what I had done is I started the second skein of yarn. I just kept going, but then I realized I don't know how long I want the body to be. I want to just keep going until I get to the end of the skeins. So it's more important for me to start at the sleeves. So what I did is I started the sleeve here and this is what I did at knit night I literally spent all knit night unraveling what I had here which was about two rows and then I started here and uh one of the lovely um women at knit night had a big crochet hook so it was very helpful for me to pick up stitches along here I also added in it said to pick up a certain amount of stitches and I added two more because I didn't want to have a big gap in the corners I can always decrease that on the next round if need be if it doesn't really matter with the sizing I could just keep going with it look at my lovely stitch marker from Nicole aka time weaver a little coffee mug so um that's really cute and I'm gonna go have my tea now in a mug so it's like really you know it's cute <laughs> Um, so yeah, I will be working on this sleeve tomorrow and hopefully be able to get to the next sleeve before the weekend ends. Um, we'll see. And yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. So finish the sleeves to where it needs to be. And then we'll just continue on with the body. And then we pick up the neckline and we will be done, done with this sweater. So, um, just, it's a work in progress. I really hope I can finish it this December. And that is that. This is the Cozy Knitter Advent Day number two. The color is gray. 
and we are going to move on to day number three tomorrow it looks reddish pinkish can't wait to see it all knit up and again this is the cozy knitter advent um yeah so that is vlogmas for day two and i'm going to take you to something hopefully fun tomorrow um there's a christmas carnival happening and um, I'm going to see what it's all about. And yeah, that'll be that. So I'm going to bid you adieu. Happy Vlogmas. Have a good night and see everybody tomorrow.